Hi, welcome to another video, a video interview brought to you by Connected, AICHE's online community. My name is Christine Chin. I'm the Senior Director of Conferences and Education for AICHE. We're here at AICHE's 2018 Spring Meeting and 14th Global Congress on Process Safety in Orlando, Florida. And with me here today is Delia Contreras. She's the Vice President of Engineering and Sustainability for Energy Services in Ecolab. Delia is our keynote luncheon today for the Spring Meeting Joint Luncheon uh, and Global Congress, presenting Doing Better Together, Transforming Businesses sustainable, Sustainably. Today's luncheon is also a celebration of the 20th anniversary of AICHE's Women's Initiative Committee. So Delia, welcome to Orlando. Thank you. I'd love to, to be here. That's great. I'd love to ask you a question um, that is really uh, going to help inspire the future generation. Um, because you've gone so far up the chain, um, what inspired you to become an engineer first? So, a couple of people. Uh, my mother, because her vision was that for us to be out of poverty, we had to go to school and go to um, college education. And uh, the second person was a, a chemical a chemistry teacher in high school. Um, he started, he saw that I had abilities with math and physics and, and chemistry and so he started talking about engineering and uh, it was initially mechanical engineering. Uh, later on when I learned more about chemistry then I thought chemi chemical engineering probably was better for me although I had no idea what that was. Um, and, and even way into the career, I still didn't know what that really meant. Um, but I've been blessed to have to be a, a chemical engineer, and I have been one for 30 years. Wow, that's, ama that's amazing. Um, and over your 30 years, I'm, I'm sure you've experienced uh, a lot of opportunities and challenges. Can you kind of help us put that through the focal point of what it feels like to be a female in, in engineering? Yeah, I always try to find things from the positive standpoint, right? So while it is a challenge, because when I was growing up, there were not that many female engineers in the field where I was, uh, I always lean on the guys that were around me. And I learned to observe what they were doing, how they were talking, and without compromising my values, I was adapting to be recognized and to become visible. Part of the problem that females face in the field is that they allow to become invisible. And because of that, then don't get recognition, don't get promoted, and so on and so forth. It's like a snowball. Yes. So I learned that uh, very early on in my career. And I, always, I also learned to have my voice and have my seat at the table, never sat on the back. So when I heard about this lean in thing and sitting at the table, I was like, I've been doing it all the time. And it does work, I can tell people that it does work. So challenges, uh, a lot of them. Uh, some of that comes from not understanding how people view us in the workplace. Um, and over the years, I became better at understanding that and working with my partners. Um, because without their support, I would not be where I am today. I think I am here because not only my personal effort, but also all the teams that I have had over the years that have done a great job for me and made me look really good uh, performance-wise. So it sounds like you have a great team, a, a great um, network around you. Um, you had a lot of inspiration. I think uh, a lot of young females out there can be inspired by, by you. So if you had to leave one message for them, what would it be? Thank you. So uh, I think the message is um, there is a lot of opportunities, a lot of great things to do in engineering, uh, regardless of the discipline in engineering. Um, the way that I always like to tell people is if you like to f identify solutions to problems, you can be an engineer. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we do for a living every day. Um, we, we identify solutions to problems um, that we have in every situation, in the, in the plant, in the office, uh, bigger picture, whatever, right? So if, 
if they like and they want to be an engineer, um, I think the best way to do it is just try to get into the math and science. Um, it's not that bad, it's actually fun if you wanted to make it. Um, and then become an engineer because I've been blessed with a lot of opportunities as um, being, for being an engineer. Well, thank you, Delia. Um, and thank you for contributing to our, our conference here.